This one's dead. Oh, hello, uh, Professor Fiston. Dead about here with a few more pointers for the uh, <sighs> fall off at this point. Um, up, oh, light artist. Are you artist light or artist not light? Have it on slow skin. Ooh. All right. So today's lecture is on art. No, it of course is on art or something, or light. It's eyes. It's all in the eyes. Anyway, so cool. And uh, you know, I was getting my, my clear account. Clear is a, uh, I just happen to have the props handy. You mean you actually prepare for these things? Absolutely, imagine that. Mm. Even I, here's clear. Pretty good, really good service. We live, w I live really, really, really way out in the boonies. And so if you're like five more feet out, we wouldn't even be in Dallas. Dallas, of course, Texas is uh, is big, you know. It's just, uh, you might think it's a long way down to the chemist's shop, but you've never lived in Texas yet. No. Oh, well, this, that, and the other. Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Anyway, <clears throat> my mustache is not straight. No, that's your face. Just need your head for a bit of uh, propaganda. Sorry, Graham Chapman. Um, so, the clear account's very nice. like the service. It's a cellular modem, a wireless modem. So, the place I live, this nice, uh, three years now, clean and sober, you know, July 5th. So three years and a month now, something like that. Okay, well, let's see. Okay. Um, hmm. Yes. So, we're talking about light and light as a, as a tool. You know, I do these yarn drawings, as you know. You press, I'm getting the site up. Everything's very slow. Everything's, I've gotten everything sorted out, I hope. But I do yarn drawings. And so I use yarn as the drawing thing. And I get a big wall and a stapler. Well, not a staple gun, but actually a hand stapler. I like I don't, the kind of got... I got off on the tangent. I'm already on the subject already. So I'll, I'll subject. I like it messy, but okay. I just I just go find it, and that's the simplest thing. It takes five seconds. Pull this out of the way. So I'm sort of scrunching this over. My lab space is shrinking. Aha! Voila! I just because I can't see. I don't wear glasses. You know. Okay, is that better or worse? I don't know. Let's put the spec behind the computer. There we go. There we go. Is that better? Maybe it's too much light now. I don't know. This is, let's see what brand it is. It is, now it's upside down. Now it's upside down. It is, uh, caution, precaution, precaution, uh, don't staple it to your le leg like that, you know. It's not a leg. Stanley, Stanley, very good. Um, then there's swing line and stuff. But the other ones are the very easy to crunch. This is really hard to crunch. So you have to do some sort of lever. Multi uh, complex lever thing, and you leave that to Julius Sumner Miller here. I can't do his voice, is he? Julius Sumner Miller here, and physics is my business. It's not quite his voice. Uh, three musket, no, uh, Mouseketeers. Okay, I'm tough for light because I don't need that. And it don't fall, don't break. It's on the edge of the thing. Speaking of light, there it is. There's some of this stuff, and I can't get it up. Oh, here it is. Okay, you're good. Oh no, watch it out. What happened? I think it was a nuclear detonation, sir. Some experiments with light that I've done before that you'll enjoy is uh, I'm gonna take the camera, a little wobbly here. Don't don't get too seasick. Okay. Uh, here's my here's my scanner. We're gonna get the scanner. It's a Canon, of course. Um, the, the quality. I mean, Epson. The whole. I think it's the the 900 series Epson printers and the 2000 series Epson printers. There's just junk. They get good, then they go bad. So now the 7,000 and 9,000 Epsons, they're like jewelry. They're the beauty of the universe. Okay, here's a here's a scanner, and you can see it. I'm just not going to do any scanning. But some stuff to, to do, and this is like the ra rayograms or the radiograms. Like, I'm the one to talk. I don't know anything about photography. But the rayograms were, um, I got off on the subject, it, but it is light, right? I should have the clock on the wall. Because we're looking at Casablanca time, and it's two. Uh, 27, so I'll have to make sure I don't go past 15 minutes. Okay, got this. Looking, put stuff on it. And here's a cool thing. This is a, uh, I'm going to turn the light now. This is a stapler. And you're looking for translucent or transparent stuff. And you can see, I'm going to look through here. I think you can see, yeah, yeah, good. I'm looking at the, cam at the screen now. You can see that light is going through this thing. So you gather things like this. And the rayograms, man ray, you know, look him up. Google, man, M-A-N, ray, R-A-W. No, R-A-Y. 
Uh, triple horn, really that. Uh, anyway, stand up. Ah, look a bird. No, that's a fan. Uh -huh. ah. So you put them down on the thing here, and that's like that. And this is a weird, this is totally opposite of photographic printing, because you'd have the, 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 the light up here, you'd put your, your, your plate, which is usually a piece of, um, you know, print paper, uh, photographic paper, a silver process, usually silver. Uh, don't forget to look up uh, cyan cyanogen, C-Y-A-N-G-E-N -E prints. And there's another Van, Van Dyke, V-A-N-D-Y-K-E. So this is this would give you a solid picture. Now, the thing with the scanner specifically, which is really cool, is that it allows stuff. And you, you put your things. Here's plastic. It's but it has again. You're going to see. Let me turn that light off. Okay. I'm look back here. I'll go back to where we're not doodling around. Okay. Oh, I got sick on these roller coasters. So here's the plastic, and you can see it has texture. And of course, there's a printmaker. We like texture and stuff. But you can see that there's no way if I'm shining light through there. Uh, try to get where there's no glare. There's a there's a lamp straight over. There's a lamp straight over that way. That's my my bed there. But you can see there's no way that the light through this would be the same as through say a, a plastic bag. But you see the idea here. I hope so. I'm just not. I'm sort of letting you. I'm just showing you. Here's a here's a magic. Here's a sharpie. No, this is uh, the uh, the. Uh, what do they call these? Not pants. Sharpie. Sharpies are good. Sanford. And I think you know, so it's the Uniball Vision Point Eight, really, really good. And when I did the, the photograph, I mean the, the drawing, huge drawing, bigger than the door, 90 inches tall and 40 inches wide, uh, and then paper thickness. But a friend of mine, uh, Haddon, um, Haddon, Haddon said, you know, there could be a million marks in there. So I said, well, cool. We call it the million. So here it is. And these are refills. So and that's good. Eight point eight. Basically, you have to get these things and try them out and see if they work. You know, if they work, they do something. If they're speaking to you, and you hear the light, light snap. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll get back to you on that. She has a good. I'm thinking Erin Bronkowitz, what her name is. Very good. So, and I had a, a. I was in a play, and they they had the the psychiatrists were coming in, and they were taking notes and stuff. Oh, you have to have the clicky pen. So I got some clicky pens. That were very, you know, kind of a retractable pen. Oh, uh, there's one. It's not going to be clicky. Oh, it is. It's sort of clicky. Sound. Oh, it's about sound and light. Got right, off the subject. Okay. So we've got to get to today's topic, which is light. The uh, There's lots of light. Of course, there's... Um, I never can get this right. Which is, you take a piece of paper to try it old school, very old school. Take a piece of paper or a canvas and you cover it with, say... Um, uh, lamp black, the actual lamp. They go around to lamps and they get the, the, the lamp black. So lamp black is actually from the lamps. They have the carbonization, you know, and then you have twine. Is it twine? I'm thinking, now I'm thinking of charcoal, as you're saying, you know, your traditional old school kind of stuff, and you make it. Um, ferric red, ferric red. It's really rust. They go in and get rust. You get a bunch of iron nails and stuff, not steel, not, which was an invented thing. And so prior to this, you had no way of getting steel. I think you could make it. The samurais, the sam people who built the samurai swords knew the idea. You make the thing, you, 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 you put it, it's, it's there, you put it into the water, jewelry making, this is small metals and large metals, and it steams it, and it, it, it uh, I, I don't want to say stuff that's wrong because my mind is going 15 different directions, so stay on the light. But they knew how to make the steel, and they would pound the sword out, and they'd shove it into the water, and steam it out, and pound it in, and shove it out, and and eventually that sword would just be unbelievably different than just off-the-shelf steel, you know. Anyway, light, we've got Flavin, F-L-A-V-I-N. Oh, yes, it's absolutely, do you have any, any Bumsher? This is other over there. What about, uh, how about Chedley? I don't have any Chedley. No, no. Uh, okay, well, how about some cheddar? What? Cheddar, cheddar cheese. Never heard of it. It's the singular most popular cheese in the world. Don't get much call for it around here. What do you get in the cheese shop? Money Python. Start again. Okay, so light. Uh, light, look up Flavin, F-L-A-V-I-N, and Neon, Nick, Nick Park. No, Nick Park is Gromit. Okay, Nick Park, look up Nick, Nick Park uh, and, and company. Uh, Aardvark, I think it's Aardvark. Oh, well, mine is gone. Light, light, light. And so another guy is Nam June Pike Park Park Nam N A M 
June J U N E Pike Park. How do you say P A I K? I don't even know what the Korean is for it. So here's some cards, you know, different magic tricks. Do that later. Um, so light, light is everywhere. Start looking for it. Be sort of tuning your eye in. You'll be if you're looking at trees. Remember Cezanne statement. It's not till I, I take. It's, I realize now that it's not until I sit down to try and draw it or paint it that I've, I feel realize I've never really even looked at it. You know, the five tree, you know, the, you get a leaf, you know, you have the little leaf and it comes off and there's branches. Well, are the branches one, two, or are the branches alternating in distance? So here's here's a branch, here's one leaf going off this way, there's a, and there's nothing on the other side. There's a, up a little bit, there's another leaf going off. And so they go they go like this, 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 right? Or do they go like in pairs? Or do they go in triplets? Have you looked at a leaf? I haven't looked at a leaf. I wouldn't know. Look at the edges of the leaf. Look, look, look. So today's thing is on light, and we're almost out of time, so I gotta do it quick. So you watch all this just for this one five second thing. Here is my clear modem. Wait, wait. So when you get it, and they have you disconnect it, so I'm gonna pull the power cord here, you'll see, and the little lights will go out. Boink, it's dead. Okay, so it's, and he said, let it sit for a while, sit for a couple minutes. Who is Ozymandias? Yeah, good band, Ozios. No, Ozymandias. I met a traveler in an antique land who who said in the in the desert stand, you know, pretty Shelley, Mr. Shelley, not Vosenkoff, not the Frankenstein lady. Now I'm gonna plug it in. Here we go. Plugging it in. Watch, watch, watch. It comes up. Uh oh, there it is. See all five lights. Here it goes, flashing. It has a different light back here too. Now, see the middle one is blinking. This is this is the key. This is what you're looking for. Count the number of times it flashes. When you do the, there's a, a, a idea in design based on uh, Calder, uh, the, the 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 guy who invented the uh, mobile, the mobile and the stable. Uh, count the number of blinks. So he has 11 dots. How do you arrange 11 dots on a piece of paper to make a design? I got that from Don Taylor. Who was in the that lineage goes back to uh, Father Merton in Kentucky, good old Kentucky bourbon. Don't touch that stuff anymore, but you know. Ah, actually, pull out. Okay, so, ah, now it's counting. Now it's doing the little up, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. It's got five little LEDs. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Uh, Symphony Electronique. Yeah. No. Uh, ballet Robotique. And then some. Now watch. Flashes on. All five are on, off, five on, five off. And now that's my signal strength, which is four. Now if I turn it over here, away from the window, um, I'm going to sort of cover it somehow. I don't know how to do this. But away from the window, it usually gets three. And that's something to think about. That That's the whole lesson. And of course, it's all about light. And um, we've all done this at the campfire. And then he said... Never touch the purple gorilla. Never touch the purple gorilla. Well, it could be wrong with touching the purple gorilla. So I said, okay, fine, I'm going to go touch it. It's a stuffed gorilla. <laughs> like, I'm not going to do something. He goes over and says, well, it does have nice fur. And all of a sudden, the gorilla comes alive and starts chasing me and chasing and chasing and running, getting closer and closer and closer and closer. Continued next week. And then at the edge of the cliff, page two. Peace always, you know, in the tagline. Here's the spoiler for the ending. The gorilla says, You're it. Tag, you know. Lights. Frank. Peace. Always. Better. Bye. Click. Is it 15 minutes? Will it go up on YouTube?